Hi, I'm Jesse Terry. I'm going to show you today how the Akai Professional APC40 Ableton Live controller works. The clip launch section gives you an 8 track by 5 scene control over live session view, which can be expanded with the bank select and shift buttons. A ring around the clips and live session view shows you where you are in the set. The buttons are lit orange to show that there's a clip in the slot, and when you press that slot to play it, it'll turn green when playing. As live users know, these clips will come in launched quantized to the beat, and live will time stretch the audio as needed. I can also stop clips with the clip stop button, or stop all clips. The scene launch buttons let me launch a whole row of clips at the same time. If I want to move to different parts of my session view, I can use the bank select and shift buttons. Pressing the bank select button moves sequentially down through the set. So I can launch new clips. Holding the shift button lets me jump to different areas of my set. Holding the shift button and hitting a bank select button will move me around up and down by banks of five scenes at a time. In the mixer section, you have eight channels plus a master fader which can be expanded with the bank select buttons. You can also use the activator buttons to mute your tracks or the solo buttons to solo. Solo buttons can also be used as pre cue along with the cue level knob. You can also arm tracks down at this section. Up here on the track control section, you can control eight channels with the pans and sends. These can be expanded with the bank select button. So I'm going to move the pan here on the drums. And I've got some reverbs and delays on my sends. You can use whichever of live's devices or VSTs you want. The tap tempo and nudge buttons let you sync up with either turntables or other musicians. Track selection and device control let you control effects for each channel. So pressing number two here, that brings me to my top level effects on track two. I can turn those effects on and off. I can move between different effects. And I can also switch the views to the clip and the track. So I can see the audio that's playing. I'll go back to the device view. I'm going to go over to the master fader here and try out some DJ effects I've got set up. You see those knobs automatically linked to that selected device. you even more control, when you hold down the shift button you can move to eight different banks of parameters. Detail view closes the detail view so that you can see more of your session when you're playing live. Record quantization and MIDI overdub are good for working in the studio, same with metronome. You've got your transport controls here and your global record which lets you record every last bit of automation you record on your set. Down here we have a replaceable 60mm dual rail guided crossfader. In live you can set any of your tracks to A or B channels so you could move between, say, two different drum parts. APC40, the world's first dedicated Ableton performance controller, only from Akai Professional.